Group 6 of the 2022 TCR UK Champions are about to burst into life. Put me through how great Jamie is. As and all meals goes for the <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah? So you see that little kink? Yeah? Can you see the kink on yeah. the right? Yeah. Just try. <laughs> Just try and go into that bit. Yeah, because what will then happen is is what happens now is you, you, you'll work it out, you see where the one board is, what you'll end up doing, you see where the JCBs are, is you'll point to the JCBs on the approach into the corner. We're getting kicked off. So, just to fill you in on what's going on, obviously we're at Brands Hatch for rounds, I think, five, six, and seven of obviously TCR UK. Uh, we've got a chaotic weekend going on here. Currently, cars are just getting ready to go out. However, we have had a slight issue with the alternator and the Subaru, so they are doing a rapid swap on it right now. Um, Max's car had a few problems yesterday, so actually we'll let him explain what happened there. Here's a little bit with Max. So yesterday we didn't really have a great day, um, it started off pretty bad, we went out and on my outlap the clutch started slipping, um, so straight back in, we eventually got a new clutch, back out after lunch, uh, I wasn't driving this time, team manager Jamie was, and the clutch was still slipping, so I missed all of yesterday in testing unfortunately, but the last day we were working on the car all night, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be brilliant today. There you go, that's what we heard from Max. So guys are just about ready to go out. We are, what are we doing? Um, we're gonna go film it. For you. Come on, give me something. No words. Don't be like that. Same old. What is the same old? Any smoke or anything? No smoke, nothing inside, nothing coming under the bonnet anymore. No. It's Charlotte sticking her tongue out. It's all right, just blur any confidential <laughs> stuff, don't I worry. I can't even know where you went. I know, because they had new rubber on. Here's the nitrous plugged in. We have to do that once it goes off the nitrous. Oh, it's too good. Yeah. 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 Those are nice suits, to be fair, lad. I won't put it you on now. You couldn't fit any more sponsors on that, oh, could yeah. you? Can we just have a look at that? Look at how many sponsors spin around for us. Yeah. On the arm. On the arm. On the back. Looks the you can get one more. Oh, no, on the yeah, back. You, you, could, you could get a jam sport media somewhere here, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, sure, I've all here. <laughs> oh, Rolly? Yeah, no, nah, come on, give me something. <laughs> no, nothing. Yeah. Oh, Ollie. Ask me at the end of the day. By the end of the day, ask me at the end of the day. Ask me at the end of the day. Ask me at the end of the day. Explain what's going on with the car. Yeah, so um, just before we go out for any session, We'll run the car up, make sure the oil, there's no oil's nice and warm, gearbox is warm, and there's no leaks. And then while we we'll run it up, we notice there um, like a little catching noise. And sometimes, because we've got new rubber on, the wheel weights just catch the disc. So we just took the wheel just to check if everything was okay. And then one out. Pulls out. Don't worry. Don't do. Do you want me to flatten them? Hang on. Well, this isn't good for kids anymore, is it? <laughs> There's no real game plan. No, no, game game no plan. the game plan is we've got four sets of slicks that we're scrubbing in, and I'm not allowed to go fast. And? And? New brakes. 
and you bed brakes you got a bed, bed in, in your brakes, brand new mate. brakes we're talking yeah. pads and this <laughs> <laughs> you could be a salesman you can yeah well funny enough <laughs> this is now tele shopping this one it's tele shopping tele shopping yeah okay so what we're selling what brakes. your hand brakes what you got your hand? contact lenses cool and so, do you know what? i could sell these i could sell these <laughs> uh, to, to right every now. racing driver right now what are they? they're amazing so <laughs> hot day yeah. hot in the car cool and soft pad head neck Helmet. You wear it with your helmet on? Yeah. <laughs> They're brilliant. They're brilliant. They keep me cool. <laughs> you kill keep me. the energy levels up. Yeah. Concentration. Yeah. <laughs> and it's worth about two tenths. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, so I could sell these to everyone down here. This we'll is have worth to go two tenths. Do a little run, see if we can sell them. Yeah, like you, you get like four in a pack. <laughs> right. So and each pack is two pounds fifty. So I could probably sell those for five pounds each. Yeah. In five pound here. track prices. Track prices, there you go. And you know the, the percentage on that is, believe it or not, more than what Stuart Lyons' percentage is for selling. Okay, we can't put that in. Can't <laughs> you can't put that in the video. start if I stayed on the grid and the wets and yeah, you know they might have carried you know from the safety car let you carry on and then you would have drove away they would have been on slicks and then they would have come back when yeah. you come on to drive. So I could have got out I don't know what I'm yeah, it, back out on slicks I changed it and she got out and I really wanted to get him at the end so it's just me and you yeah, yeah. yeah. well when you got past I know did you see I pulled a bit of a gas like well, it's hard, you know. One more lap, but about you and all. I don't think so. He went so tomorrow. It's all right, because I'm like. Did you see him? Yeah, he went. I, I, st I start fifth, and that's all right, because the quick ones are behind me, and the slow ones are in front of me. And I'm like, what are you trying to say? Didn't mean like that. Didn't mean like that. I'm never going to be letting you back. But I'm never see. I I could have gone. So it's back to how it was before you, uh, you no, it's sold no, it. No. no, it's the dampers are back up to the wet set, but the rear, rear geometry is different from what If you liked it in the wet, 
it would be better in the draw. Okay. All right, because yeah. all the diff all the differences that we've done is different the dampers. At the end of the Back day, the at the end of the right. day, just f driving now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we was happy with what we measured. If you like so, it, you see down and. I'm an hour walk over. Huh? I'll have a walk over. What do you mean? It's not what you did last time. You were on row 10 before, now you're on row 7. You've moved forwards. Only go forward, Andy. Moving forwards. Yes. His gale's out. It's enough they've got his car on it. Is it that bad? I don't think it's it. We'll find out in assembly. Yeah, yeah, we will. Good point. See what happens then. Round number six of the 2022 TCR UK Championship about to burst into live. Bradley Kent and Antwoord Neils make up row number one. The red start to rise. The red lights will go on. 25 minutes of racing, getting underway. A good start made by the front two, but look at Jack Constable. Yesterday of Tangled as Antwoord Neils goes for the lead. A brilliant move of Graham Hill Bend, and he brings Constable with him. Catching these two, Brad looking for the inside. He's into the back of Max Hart's Hyundai. Max isn't going to like that. Parks the car on the apex though and hangs on to the position. It's dropping away, isn't it? Now Antoine has dropped away from the back of Hutchison. So I don't know what's happened there. There's bits of the car falling off. But uh, yeah, that's a wall deal. That's a shame, isn't it, Paul? After a really strong showing, another DNF. It is a shame. So something going awry there. Well, where was I? Sixth or fifth? Sixth. Fifth. No, because Ant didn't finish. Ant didn't finish, so I think you come fifth. Yeah, fifth. Well done, Ant. That's still good. That's good points, isn't it? Up until the last lap. Did you see me? Oh, you did see that. You have last lap or three laps before. Yeah. No, that was, that was 10 second penalty. Oh, Don't you read them? Because they got 27. Because oh. yeah, I saw you slowing down with something wrong. I just thought everyone's board said zero. I thought if they don't put the last lap forward out, I'll just drag it to the line, not the pit lane. Your tones were far away, mate. I thought they were consistent. I was, every lap I was coming around, three, three and a half tenths off the quickest. Well, I think that's Smiley didn't finish, so that's even more of a championship lead now. Uh, we, had a, we had a good start, to be fair. Not the best launch that we've ever had off the Subaru, but it was okay. Um, and then just caught Bradley Kent napping into turn three. We'll dive up the inside into Graham Mill. Um, and to be honest, I thought we'd got a bit of control over the pace the first five, six laps. We were looking after the front tyres, um, trying to maintain the gap. We were struggling a little bit with setup off the corners. And then they started coming and the train got bigger and they barged their way through and we dropped back to P5. Um, and then just tagged onto that top five top four, top five train, which was good, really. You didn't think the Subaru would be able to hang on, but she did, and uh, yeah, a lap from the end, we had a, a left front tyre failure, which was annoying, really, considering I'd put a lot of effort into looking after them on the first three, four laps. But one of the things, the guys are on it now, fixing her, and we don't know if it was damage from tyre, rubbing bodywork, or just a general delamination, but we'll fix her back up and go again. How does it feel being the only person to leave laps in that Subaru? Uh, yeah, it feels good. It's, it's good to reward the team from the work that they put in. Um, everyone's put a lot of work into this car and she's a bit of an underdog and I think people around the paddock now are starting to get a bit scared of her. So we'll, uh, we'll keep that up and keep rivaling them and push them about and yeah. So for the next race, what's your plan moving forward? Same as always, try and get a good start, try and catch them out on cold tyres if it stays dry and we're on slicks. Keep fighting our way forward, see what we can do really. The, the new bodywork's going on it, so she'll be strong again. And, Anything changing? Uh, a few setup changes, yeah. Um, we've not done a, a full meeting about what we're going to do, but there is a few areas that we, we do need to work on, so we'll have a, we'll have a chat. Awesome. And the championship, how are you feeling? We're not even in, I'm not interested in the championship, mate, at the minute. We are literally trying to get this Subaru at the front of the grid. As soon as we can do that, we can look forward to future years with it. Um, but unless it's at the front of a grid, it's not going to be a wanted car. And if it's not a wanted car, there's risk of losing it from the series. So we'll just keep fighting and, and see if we can put it up the front. And then once we're at the front, try and stay there consistently and 
hopefully before we know it, we've got a race-winning, consistent, paced car. And it's good, I guess, getting some new cars into the series. What's your opinion on other stuff like that coming in? Thanks. Yeah, there, need, there needs to be more. I'd, I'd be really disappointed if, if the, the TCR package turned into Hyundai and, and Cooper Cup. I think it would, it would ruin the, the series and um, it needs to be a multi manufactured grid it just needs to because it's what draws the crowds in people like their different cars people have their favorites and we need to keep cars like this in it which is why all the jump sport guys are putting such an effort in to to, to get it to work because we, we don't we can't afford to lose them i didn't get the greatest of starts i don't think but then i started picking places off pretty quick um uh, I know that Daryl was in front of me and then I got past him because he went wide. Um, and when I was in front of him, I thought, good. I had Russell Joyce behind me and he dropped back because a few of the fast guys were coming through. So I just thought, oh, good, that's, a, that's right. I've got some breathing space between me and Joyce. So uh, all I wanted to do was beat, beat him. I didn't really care. I'd finish last as long as he was behind me. <laughs> I, I, I want the old man's trophy, you didn't I? I want the old man's trophy. Nah. Not had much luck with that. But um, no, to be honest, my... My tyres were going off a little bit early. Um, Tonks came through and he was kamikaze, absolute lunacy. I mean, you say some key points in that race. I mean, I, was, I followed Brad Hutchinson through um, when he overtook Depper. And that was, that was a paddock, but Depper didn't see me coming through as well. And he closed, he closed the door, but he obviously didn't see me. So I had to break out of that at paddock. So that, um, that screwed my corner up. Um, yeah, and I, I remember I outbreak myself, and then I lost a couple more places to um, Hawkins and Joyce, um, and then it, it just got to my head, and I was, oh, I know, some anxious feelings and frustration, and um, just thought, oh, I just can't do this. But I suppose every driver beats themselves up when they've when they screw up. But yeah, run out of talent a bit. But yeah, then managed to. Get some get some good times in, start reeling them back in. But I think we, we got in front of um, Hawkins in the end because she got a five second time penalty. So it was good enough that we was close enough to be able to nick that position off us. I think we finished P9 when we started 13th. But the way that race went, we could have ended up probably where Daryl was, maybe maybe sick. Right, so here we are. Race one, so. That was a little bit from Ant about what happened in race two. I can't say enough how happy we all were as a team to see the Subaru leading some laps of a race and it really does make all the hard work that the team's put into the car worthwhile to see it leading those laps. So overall we were really, really happy with what happened there. Going on to race three, it was a bit of a crazy one for us to be honest. Um, Adam managed to get his way from P5 up all the way up to P2. Um, we were over the moon with that result, you know, Adam really, really deserved it. He's not had the best luck so far this year, but for someone that's really putting in the work and the effort to be up there, it was about time he saw that result because I know it's been coming for a while. Um, the other person that I feel needs to mention in this is good old Andy Wilmot because he did an absolutely stellar job throughout the weekend and got his old man's trophy right at the end, so we were all really happy to see him up there on the podium. So. Other results from the team would be Max did really, really well. He came from nearly at the back of the grid and managed to finish in P5, so we were all buzzing for him there. Sadly, Ant in the Subaru did not finish the race. Uh, some more tyre issues, be that delamination or bodywork or whatever it was. This is a touring car racing at the end of the day, so things do get bumped around a little bit, but the performance of the Subaru overall was amazing, so we are all really happy. Right, so that's been a look at what goes on behind the scenes at a race weekend, at least for Jam Sport anyway. I hope you've enjoyed the video, we've really enjoyed making it, so like always let us know if there's more stuff you'd like to see, um, tune in in a couple of weeks, hopefully we'll be making something else, maybe around racing, maybe around Jam Sport, we'll see what's going on in the world, but that's it. <laughs>